With his wife Lilia Paredes, Pedro Castillo was at the center of a historic day in Peru. The first farmer, a primary school teacher from one of the poorest districts in the country, is Peru's new president. This is the first time that our country shall be governed by a peasant. A peasant, like many of the Peruvians, is from the suppressed classes. It's the first time that a popular party formed in the interior of the country is here democratically. Wearing his trademark hat from his home region of Cajamarca in the north, Castillo addressed Congress in an hour-long speech. We want to end the abuse of the monopolies of high prices of basic services and energy and medicines. We want families' economies more stable. Castillo said his priority will be to tackle the pandemic. Nearly 200,000 Peruvians have died of COVID-19 and more than 3 million lost their jobs. Castillo said he'll distribute bonuses, credits, and support small businesses, among other reforms. Coming from one of the poorest districts in the nation, Castillo told poor Peruvians he understands them. I want you to know that in my veins runs the pride and pain of Peru. I am a son of a country founded on the pain of my ancestors and the lack of opportunities of my parents. In the bicentennial anniversary of Peru's independence, the new leader said he'll break with the colonial past. For now, President Castillo has decided not to live here at the presidential palace. The perception is that many who governed from here forgot Peru's poor population. Now Castillo wants to change that around. Millions of Peruvians who voted for him expect a better distribution of Peru's wealth, a country with one of the highest levels of inequality in the region. For so many years, the country has been mired in poverty, misery due to exploitation and thieving by politicians. That a brother, one of ours, arrives at the government gives hope to us all. Many celebrated Castillo's historic new start, but it will be an uphill battle. With an opposition-led Congress, it is likely the new president will find roadblocks to implement reforms. The question is if Peruvians, desperate for change, are willing to wait. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.